I'm going to be making some savoury pinwheels. I thought I'd let her start this video off for a change, folks. You happy with it? Back to the beat, wasn't it? Christmas fair. Christmas tucker. Right, as you probably know, we've done a few in our Christmas. I haven't even got a playlist for the Christmas stuff, Sharon. I should have, shouldn't I? Should do, really. We've got the uh, cheese straws, which a lot of you have made. We've done the mince pies, which is all sort of nibbly, Christmassy sort of food. And this apparently, although, have we had these before? No. We haven't actually done these before, folks, so it's a new one for us as well. We're going to be making savoury pinwheels. And again, you can add your own ingredients. We've chose some ingredients. Let's show you what we're going to be cooking with today. Here's the ingredients for our savoury pinwheels. One sheet of ready-made puff pastry. We are using some red Leicester cheese. Some parmesan cheese. Half a jar of pesto. Some sun-dried tomatoes. Three slices of thin ham. One egg to use as an egg wash. Right, so what's the first thing to do, baby? Get the progress, get the cheese ready? Yeah, let's get grating. So we've just chosen some red Leicester here, folks. And uh, this is stuff we've just had in the fridge when we done, we used that before, didn't we? Yeah, for the cheese straws. For the cheese straws. So we've had this left over, folks. So rather than waste it, uh, we thought we'd use it. You might like to have a look at Sharon's lovely Butler's Empire apron. Pinny apron, apron uh, which we will be uh, processing very soon, folks. Processing. I love that word, Sharon. Selling. Folks. A lot of people said, stop calling, stop saying folks, and stop calling me baby, calling you baby all the time. It's not one word now, Sharon. It's now two words. Anyway, I'm still going to carry on doing it. So, Dad, if, it, if you kept calling me Sharon, stop calling her Sharon. What would he call me then? Exactly. Yeah, but they say folks. I say folks a lot as well. Well, I'm talking to the folks, the people. I could use the word people, but I'm starting to rant already, and I'll have to stop. Right, there's your little saucer. So, no measurements here. It's just, again, guesstimate, isn't it? Yeah, I've gone too much as normal. Which is always handy, Sharon, because that means there'll be some chef perks afterwards. So, we've also got this... Um, Parmesan. Parmesan, Parmigiano. You can get this already grated, Sharon, can't doesn't you? Doesn't that stink when it's already yeah. done in them This stuff this doesn't stuff. really smell very much, does this it? It smells, but it smells nice. Yeah. You want to eat this one. The other one, I think, smells like... Sick. Sick. Well, and sick. Yeah. So we're just going to grate some of this up as well, because this cheese, once we lay our pastry out, folks, we're going to be uh, just sprinkling all this lovely stuff all over it. So we'll let Sharon grate that up. So these are the tomatoes we're going for. They're in some sort of oil there, and they, they're not actually sun-dried, they're called sun-soaked, which I didn't realise, so there you go, they are sun-soaked. Semi-dried tomatoes in sunflower oil. I'm not too happy with that oil. We'll drain that oil off anyway, we won't be using that oil. With garlic and oregano, lovely, sweet and juicy, so it says there. So we're gonna chop these up as fine as we can, folks, because we want loads of little bits of this all over rather than big chunks. So we're gonna get all that chopped up very finely as well as the uh, ham as well. So we're gonna slice all that up and we'll come back to you in a second when we've done this. So let's say we'll get about three slices of this, folks. This is only cheap ham anyway. And we're just gonna literally cut this up very, very small because we're gonna be sprinkling this over our puff pastry. Right, so that's all done now. That's all our preparation done there, folks. And all we're gonna do now is just get this um, puff pastry. This is ready rolled stuff. Uh, this is the, one of the expensive ones, but uh, you can get this cheaper in Lidl for about one pound 10 pence per sheet. So Sharon's just gonna unroll this one now. Does it come frozen? This one doesn't, does no, it? No, no. But you can get this frozen apparently. And uh, as I say, all you have to literally do with this stuff is literally just roll it out and you're ready to start lacing your, eh? Lacing, layering. Lacing, I call it lacing it, whatever. Mm. So this is our, what is this, Sharon? Pesto with basil, I love this. Yeah, thing. absolutely lovely this is, folks. And all you're gonna be doing with this is literally spreading it out along the whole pastry Oops. length. So we're going all the way around it, folks. Put plenty on, because this is where your flavor is. So there you go. So that's probably about, about half a jar in there per, per uh, sheet Sharon, isn't it? Yeah. So that's half a jar on there. Yes. Right, so again, just sprinkle it on. Try and get it full coverage, folks. You don't want any missing bits here. Try not to make it too thick, because you're going to roll this. There we go. So we've got a nice layer on there, folks. It's a bit like making a pizza, Sharon. It is. And again, on with the ham. And no doubt, if you put that into a big oven, that would probably cook up like a, a pizza, wouldn't it? Do, yeah. yeah. So that's pretty much the same as making a pizza, folks. 
And this is one we like, you know, this is what well, we've we never had it. Well, no, our, our flavours. This is flavours we're fond so, of, yeah. So you should have put this in, you should have put that in. Yes, I could, we could have put You can put on what it. you like in, we're baby, just can't you? this because this sounds quite nice. So on with the sun dried tomatoes, folks. Again, sprinkle them all around. There you go. A bit of parmesan. And as you can see, the parmesan, this goes on pretty much like the um, normal cheese. This is a hard cheese, this one, folks. And uh, it's a lot better than that powdered stuff you get in it. That mm. powdered stuff, as I say, you can put it on. It really does stink, but it's very little smell of this. But it is a nice, strong cheese. So that's it. So now what we're going to do is try and roll this up. There we go. Just roll it up, folks. Just roll it up. And that is the basis of your pinwheel. So we're just going to cut these up, folks. Right, so we're going to get these now into the air fryer. But before we do anything, folks, we're going to just beat up our egg because we're going to give these a bit of a glaze. So let's do that now. And literally all you do is do an egg wash on it on every segment. So you're going to do the top and the bottom, folks. Don't worry if they don't look the prettiest. They're all going to puff up and look all right when they're all cooked. So there we go. Just a little egg wash, top and bottom, just to get them nicely glazed up, folks. So we'll carry on and do this, and we'll see you in a minute. Right, so there they are, folks. All lovely and egg washed. So we're going to put them in the air fryer. We're going to turn it on. And we're going to put it on match. And we're going to choose uh, air fry. We're going to take the temperature down to 180. And we're going to do that for eight minutes on one side. And then we'll keep an eye on them. And we will turn them around and uh, probably give them a little bit on the other side as well. So let's start the cooking there now. And we'll see you in a minute. Right, folks, they've just finished. We did turn them over halfway. Oh, look at them, Sharon, look. Oh, yeah, they look lovely. Let's get them out, folks, put them on a plate, and uh, we'll come back to you. Right, I will mention, though, when we did turn them over the first time, they was a little stuck in there, so all, all I used was this little plastic spoon underneath and just sort of eased them up and then just sort of flipped them over like that. So you may have to do the same. Ideally, if you had a little thin silicone spatula, that would also help as well. Maybe or maybe spray the bottom with some um, little olive oil, which you can, or you can do that even, so... Yeah, just something we've learned through doing these. As you see, they come out once they've cooked on the other side. Fine, look. But uh, anyway, that's them. So let's have a closer look at them now, folks. Well, I must say, folks, that when Sharon suggested we do these, I thought they might have been a bit basic because I, I have had pinwheels before that you get from the shops and they always taste a bit dry and cardboardy, don't they? I've, I can honestly say I've never had a savoury pinwheel. Yeah, but uh, these look something totally different. So I think it's only fair that, you, first of all, baby, take your pick, choose your weapon and let's see you go in. I'll take this little one. And don't forget, folks, you can have these hot or cold. We're having them hot. Oh, hello. What are you getting, baby? Pesto. Pesto. You can you can taste the pesto. I love pesto. Well. Cheese. It's coming through. Mm, it is. It's like an everlasting gobstopper out of Willy Wonka. You're getting first and second course, and it's working its way through the meal. And now I've got the tomato coming through. Very very nice. I recommend savoury pinwheels Christmas Eve. Right. So we turned them over halfway, folks. So it was 180 degrees for eight minutes. And then we turned them over again, and we've done 180 degrees for eight minutes again. Okay? So that's what we've done. Your air fryer might differ. Keep an eye on them, have a look at them, and then you can decide what works in your air fryer. But before that happens, I've got to go in as well now, folks, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Right, let's have a look, shall He looks a good one. He does look a good one. He looks like he's got plenty of flavour in this one. Mm -hmm. Crispy both sides, first of all. And that egg wash has made a big difference, folks. Oh, yeah, you can smell everything in there. Mm -hmm. Folks, I can't wait any longer. I'm going in.
Oh, shabba. Mmm. Oh. Cheesy. Chewy, pesto-y. And even that little ham is coming through as well, folks. Absolutely lovely. I've got to go in again, Chef. I'll tell you what, folks. From a meagre street of pastry, adding ingredients like that, and what gives it a good boost is the pesto and the sun-dried tomatoes. The cheese and the ham is there like a gate crasher. Yeah? It's very, very nice. Very tasty. And that hint of parmesan as well also comes through. Let them go cold, put them in a Tupperware box, mm. and they'll last about two to three days, I would imagine, if not they last in, that not long. In here, they no, they ain't going to last at all, folks. Anyway, oh. Highly recommend them for Christmas. Well, anytime, anytime. Have a little look at our back videos, folks. You'll find loads of stuff there. These are air fryer things. Normally do it in the oven, it'll take twice the time. Half hour, 40 minutes, something like that. Leave it as a sheet if you're gonna put it in the oven. Yeah, you put it in one pit. That's basically a pizza shower if you make it in one well, sheet. Oh yeah, but this is nice because- Pinwheels, folks. They hold their shape. They're not like a pizza, floppy. They're holding their shape. I hold my shape, shape Sharon, and it's not Drink floppy. Drink one hand and chat in the other, and this isn't floppy, and bits aren't floppy. You don't want it floppy, Sharon. You've no, said that many a time, baby. Like Let's go before floppy. we get the old bleating political police onto us. The old bleating, what are they called? What are they called? <laughs> hey? No, not what we call them, Cheryl. Uh, the politically correct police. Yeah. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. They're not no. floppy, Cheryl. What are you talking about? You, say it, so you don't want floppy. You don't want floppy. I don't want floppy. Floppy's no good to me.